Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to show how to create in AutoCAD 2023 your own custom line types that include shapes, letters, combination of them or anything that you like. Let's dive in. So we have opened AutoCAD 2023. We have created just a simple polyline, a simple text that we are writing custom underscore line type. Scale the text. Move the text to the right location. We're creating simple line type that contains two lines around the text and a text in the middle. At this point it's important to mention that the whole thing needs to be exploded with the explode command. That's going to help us later on in the procedure. So you can see the text became a text type, not an M text, while the line type, instead of polyline, it's a line. At this point we're going to type the MKL type command, which is the command that we need to initiate in order to create our own line type file which is the file with the extension LIN, as we can see here. And we're going to name it custom line type. Save the file. It is asking us to create a name for that. We're going to name it custom underscore line type. There has been an example, so we overwritten the previous example. Custom line type example for the description. And it's asking us to define the start and the ending of the line type. It's important to choose the beginning at the end of it as we can see and also it is asking us to select the objects and we select all so the result that we get is that the line type custom line type is redefined and loaded so we can go ahead and create a polyline in order to test the line type that we just created so let's make random polygon check the line type and as we can see here custom line type is created successfully. You can also create a circle and see how that circle will behave with this line type. Obviously when the circle is quite small and the letters are still large enough it creates a funny shape but once we enlarge that circle it gives us the illusion that it's a perfect circle with the same text So we create a rectangle and as we can see here we are doing much prop and we can see that the rectangle is having the lined up that we just defined. So that was the video regarding how to create our own line type with the MKL type command. This includes a line type that creates two polylines for example as we shown here and a text and that gives shape to our own drawings. We create our own line type, we write anything we want and so on. The next part of the video is going to include how to create our own line type by creating first a shape. So a shape can be a random collection of objects that we might want to include in our own line type. So in this part we are creating our own shape. It can be a collection of arcs and polylines. We can include circles or anything that we like. At this point, this collection of objects, we don't need to explode them. First thing that we need to do is, instead of typing the command mkl type, we'll type the command mk shape, which means to create, to make a shape. 
So we type MK shape and we see the file extension here is SHP from shape. So let's go ahead and create our own custom shape file. It's asking us to enter the name as previously with the line type. Type custom shape. The resolution will be 256 instead of 128, which is the default. And now it is asking us to insert the base point. This is a reference point for the collection of objects we are having here. And we are going to choose that corner of the rectangle in the middle. Select the objects, press enter, and now we have created the shape. So as we can see here, AutoCAD is telling us to use the shape command in order to insert our shape. So we're going ahead using the shape command. It's asking us to enter the shape name. We write down custom underscore shape as we named it. And here we go. Now we have a shape. It's asking us to specify the height. It's better to specify it with one and the rotation to be on zero. Right now we have inserted our shape. So as we have created our shape, now it's time to type the mkl type command in order to create our line type, including that shape. So we are renaming to custom shape line type, saving it, it's asking us for a line type name. We can repeat. The description can be any description we want to give to that line type. And it's asking us starting point from the left all the way to the right and select objects we're just going to click on the shape we've just created and it's going to be recognized if we press enter the line type is created and loaded successfully so if we go ahead and test it we can create a polyline change it to that line type we've just created it looks a bit funny here, but this is because of the actual shape that we've created and the, and the size of them. But if we create something larger, we're going to see that our line type looks up quite neat and smooth. So we can, for example, create a circle. circle is quite small for this shape but once we enlarge it we can see that it looks all right and that's our line type with the shape involved so we can reiterate what we've just seen we can create two circles quickly MK shape. It's asking us to create a custom shape. Just named it. Name of the shape from the AutoCAD CS. Let's put the resolution to 1024. And now it is asking us to insert the base point. We can pick the bottom, select objects, enter, and now it's done. If we type the shape command and we type CS, which we just named our shape. We can see that the shape is there. Same thing, specify height to 1, rotation angle to 0. And we're just creating another line type to show again our example. We name it custom shape line type 1. CS1 for the name. Something similar for the description. And enter our starting point. To the ending point and picking up our shape so right now the line type is created and loaded and as we can see it's going to be a nice example of this two circle line type you can see that we can have a perfect circle with that compiled of two small circles one stuck close to the other and that's the end of the part two where we have seen how to create a line type that includes shapes. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please press like, subscribe, 
share and of course comment any issues that you might be having or any suggestions. Till the next time, thank you.